Hi guys, I'm Linny. This is Candy Girl Creations, a place for me to come and share all my crafty bits and bobs and what I get up to. This week I have no actual properly finished objects to show you. I did make my children mittens, the same as what I made myself last week. They've lost them. Because that's what they do. You know, very impressed by that. I have a partially finished object. And I've got a few whips. Oh no, I do have a finished object. It was a new one. But, um, and I have some whips to show you. I'm going to finish my actual fin- Oh, we'll finish. Sorry, it's been a very long day. I'm going to show you my finished object. And then I'll get onto my partial, and then we'll do whips. Right. If I'm really jabbery, I am very, very tired today. But I made a blanket. That looks tiny. It is a tiny little baby blanket. He'll be going off to its new owner soon. Isn't it lovely? I'm really enjoying Granny Squares again. And it's for baby boy who will be coming in April, I think. And I'm friends with his grandma. And this is what she's ordered for me to make him. But isn't it lovely? And I love these colours. Grey and blue. Grey and blue is the way to go. Maybe not next to my bright green hair right now, but grey and blue. Beautiful. Right, the next thing, like I said, that's my only finished project. My next thing is a partially finished object. The Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast is running a stitch with her. Thing, and we're going to make it's to make a Christmas blanket. If you go and check her out, you'll be able to see all the details. But I made my first square. She's a Santa. Ooh, hoo, hoo. There he is. This is um from the design is from Repeat Craft to Me. I'm sure that's what it's called. You can't see, but the oh, you really can't see. That's quite disappointing. In his white bit of his hat it's um got sparkle in it but you can't see that this is the first time that i've actually followed a chart for corner to corner this is my first like corner to corner that i'm actually quite happy with and actually i've even turned in all the ends so the back actually looks as good as the front i think that i'm not quite sure which one's front and back right now <laughs> so that's the first one done there's 11 more to go. It's great. So that's my finished project and my partially finished project. It's finished square. Right, next is the shawl. So I only have six more pineapples to put on it. And if I really focused, I could probably do that in an evening. But I don't want to focus because I want to make all the things. I'm not good at focusing right now. So here's a pineapple design. I wonder if I could put it there. We go. Look at that a big white wall that I can use. So there's a pineapple design, and it's just a granny triangle. It's actually pinker than it's showing up. I don't know why it's showing up that colour because it is really pink. It's really really pink. But then my hair is really really green, and it's kind of showing up a lot darker on this video, and I'm showing up a lot paler. That's weird. So, there's that one. My next thing that I want to show you is the Neverland blanket. Right, so I'm not going to show you the actual blanket because that's boring. I've finished making it. I'll show you that. Right. So, just wrong way around. Honestly. So, just really, 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 really... <laughs> Big blue rectangle, but that's not, you know, that's neither here nor there. I made an island to go on it, and that was really interesting to make because I really wanted a wonky random shape, and it's just using, you know, UK trebles and single, uh, yeah, UK trebles and doubles and half trebles and random increases to make. 
like a wiggly edging to my little island. I've also made this is going to be the um mermaid cove. So it looks I wanted it to look a bit like a mountain and I could put a little applique mermaid here and sew it on. My mission for this now is I need to work out how to do mermaid appliques and I need to work out how to do pirate ships and sea monsters. So all the fun bits. But then that'll be done. So fun. And I've got one last thing to show you. I've really not done much this week. So one of those weeks I've been a bit meh. Um I started a sock. So there we go. I started this yes well I cast this on yesterday. So just ugh. But this is the yarn that I bought for my birthday. So it is Serda Heart and Soul. I I've lost the ball band. I think I've left it in the car because I actually cast it on while my partner was driving. But these colours are amazing. Aren't they pretty? They look circular. They're just bog standard. I don't even know what they are. They're nothing special. And there we go. And I've got a hole. Great. Right there. I will one day learn to knit without having massive holes in things. Either that or I won't and I'll just pretend that it's lace. Either way. Right. And that is it really short video this week one thing I did want to say so I said that I wanted to do six blankets by the end of the year I'm not counting the baby blanket because that's tiny and I whipped that up in a couple of days whilst I was on repeat craft of me to get the Christmas blanket patterns I found she's actually designed an emoji blanket I have a nine-year-old son. He would adore an emoji blanket. So that might be what his is. Because I think that's a good plan. I still don't know what I'm going to... I'm probably going to make a Star Wars one for my partner. Because... Star Wars. And I really want a Harry Potter one. But I might have to go and order yarn to do that. I need to check for the stash and see what we've got. Right, anyway, now I'm yabbering. So you can find me everywhere as Candy Goff. So come check me out on Instagram. I am on Ravelry if you want to add me as a friend. I don't have a group for this podcast because I'm really a bit rubbish at that sort of thing. But if you want to add me as a friend, you can add me as a friend. Or you can find me on Facebook as Candy Goff. I'm... I'm the best place to find me would be Instagram. I'm more, you know, I like snapping things. It's quick and easy. Right. Anyway, that's it. Bye for now.